Bam. Oh, hi. There's so many people here already. Look yeah. at all these people. Where did you all come from? Who are you? Why are you in my house? They're moms, probably. Oh, you're you're all moms? Are you all moms? Anthony's they not a mom. They came from their moms. Oh, they came from their moms. Got it. Got it. Um, happy Friday. We are going to be talking about Etsy SEO today. I, I've been asking you guys over the last few weeks because during the spring when sales are slow, I, I saw one of you ask if, you know, is it normal for sales to be this slow? Yes, it's, it's spring. Spring and summer are always slow. Usually around August, we start to see the stats kind of pick back up and, and you know, shoppers start getting a little bit more active. But, yeah. but during spring and summer, everybody is outside and going on vacation and saving their money. And then, you know, they get back inside around August, September, October, especially November and obviously December. So um, right now is an amazing time to start working on shop cleanup, uh, really, really buckling down on your social media strategy, starting to work on those listings that have, you know, no views ever. Why don't they have views? Well, we could try new photos, which last week we had photography coach Christina Nicole on my channel. She did a fantastic job answering your guys's questions um, about product photography. She has a great YouTube channel. You guys can check out. I know that her um, Maker's Method course actually just opened today. If you just Google Christina Nicole Maker's Method, you should be able to find it pretty quickly. Um, feel free to check that out if you need that extra help. But one of the other things that you can start working on is your SEO. Now, on Tuesday, I created a video that was called something like the three um, Etsy SEO golden rules that Etsy doesn't even tell you about. <laughs> and these were just some of the best practices that we always talk about over at E-Rank that we talk about on my channel, such as never touch a listing that's performing well. If it's doing good, even if you're looking at your tags and titles and thinking, oh, these look gross, don't touch it. Just leave your gross tags and titles because if you touch it, it's very likely that you're going to start losing all those views that you had you know, been getting. Um, making sure that you don't change all of your listings at once. We see that a lot where people will make a ton of changes to all of their listings, tags, and titles, and then suddenly they're wondering why all of their traffic stopped. Um, what was my third rule? I can't even remember what the third rule was offhand, but go watch that video. It published on Tuesday. It's me crying beside a Etsy tombstone because, you know, thumbnails like that apparently perform really they well. They perform really well, yes. <laughs> that video did great. We call that clickbait. <laughs> clickbait. I mean, really, the content was accurate to yeah. the thing. It was, it yeah, was literally, true. if you violate those Etsy golden rules of SEO, you will kill your shop. So it makes sense in context. Um, quit screwing around. Quit screwing around. <laughs> but today, I'm going to be optimizing a fake listing live. I'm going to be using E-Rank. That way you guys can see my personal process because I had asked um, during this, you know, spring cleaning, Etsy SEO, you know, back to basics videos that I've been doing. I keep asking you guys, what more do you want? Like, what topics do you want me to talk more about? And a ton of you said, I want to see you optimize a listing. I have followed all your tutorials. I have your Etsy SEO toolkit, which is free. That's linked down below in the video description. If you want that, it comes with webinars and videos and PDFs and stuff. Um, but they want to see me actually optimize a listing live. And the reason that I don't do this very often is because optimizing a listing takes time. It's a lot of trial and error. Um, I will go down, you know, one little rabbit hole and then decide, well, that, that didn't work. And then I'll backtrack and it's not exciting to look at. And it does take a lot of time, but that's what you guys want to see. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're also going to be demoing an all new E-Rank tool that isn't even available yet, but that you guys can get beta access to as long as you pinky promise to give, you know, some feedback on it, the good, the bad, the ugly, you have to be able to, you know, provide feedback for the tool if you want to beta test it. But if anybody is interested in that, it's available to all E-Rank plans. I will show you more about that in just a few minutes and give you details on how to sign up for it. Um, did we have any questions before we get started on our... Uh, don't eat the yellow snow, question mark? That's the lemon, though. That's the best one. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. A little off topic, but that's it was like, Pam. Yeah. Oh, it was Pam. Well, Pam's allowed to be. Pam gets Pam gets a pass. Anyone with low views and impressions this month? Probably yeah. quite a few people. Yeah, it's spring. It's spring. Things uh it things be, it do be that way. Yeah, things are a little slow. Don't change your tags for the holidays. Yeah, that's another uh I wouldn't call it one of my top three golden rules, but that is a uh good 
practice. That's it. Okay, cool. Well, um, guys, we're going to go ahead and share our screen. Go ahead and get Edge pulled up. I don't want to give anybody a seizure with my desktop background. <laughs> there we All go. All right, there we go. Go ahead and full screen. We're not. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, we're not full screen. Yeah, there we go. All right. So um, here is eRank.com. Hopefully you guys uh, are already familiar with it. But if you're not, there is a fantastic free plan. Also, if you don't already have an eRank account and you are, you know, starting with a fresh email address, um, Sign up for my free Etsy SEO toolbox down below, the Etsy SEO oodles with the ramen noodle emoji. Mm -hmm. Sign up for that because there's actually a link inside that toolbox to a free 30-day E-Rank trial of any of the paid plans. So if you want to try out the, the you know basic, pro, or expert plans, you can check that out for 30 days. So all that's down below. But Miranda had said people in the public alpha group are insisting that Etsy's throttling their sales. Can you address that? Uh, if you, if anyone can provide me a legitimate reason for why a business would throttle the sales of other businesses that make them money, I would challenge them to to give me a good one because I guarantee you, you can't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's no there's no reason that Etsy would need to do that. That would hurt them. Yeah. Anthony, are you here? Are you here, Anthony? Anthony is E-Rank CEO and he's lurking today. Don't you know, everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, to be on your best behavior. Um, but he is hanging out in the chat. Anthony, if you've got any idea um, on, you know, where that speculation might be coming from, feel free to let us know. Or Pam. Pam probably hears this a lot, too. I know that I've heard it a lot as well. Yeah, it's um, something that comes up once every couple of years. Yeah. And mm -hmm. oh, and thank you guys. We're our. I forgot to mention our charity today is for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Over the last few months, we've raised $161 thanks to Imperfect Workshop, who just donated five. So uh, feel free to donate to that if you want to. It's somewhere in the chat. Yeah, I'm lurking here. Cool. All right. So we landed on the tasks page. Um, Anthony did move our don't show this page again. If for any reason you don't want to have the task page pop up when you log into your E-Rank account, you can now check this box and get rid of it. Um, but I think that it's a great starting place if you land here and you're like, what do I want to do today? Do I want to go to my dashboard? Do I want to do keyword mm -hmm. research? So we'll go ahead and head to our dashboard real quick because this is what most of you will see. What you guys are referring to isn't throttling. I think you guys are misunderstanding the difference. I think people are thinking right now that they're throttling everyone's sales. And what you guys are thinking of are when people aren't fulfilling their orders and they get an abundance of orders they can't keep up with, Etsy will stop sending as much traffic. Those are two two separate issues. Yeah, yeah. All right, so for most of you, when you log into your E-Rank account, assuming that you've dismissed your task page, this is where you're going to land. I'm going to be using the AlphaDapt shop for our example today, um, just because it's a good place to test. This is where our alpha merch is, if you guys are interested. All this money goes to Amber Murray, who helps out. Um, but we have... A nice, fresh listing here. Now, we do have this all new, you know, their, their new streamlined listing experience. To be perfectly honest, I have been just telling sellers to switch to the old version because this one, I've seen so many sellers say that they get everything filled out and then they go to publish it and they it just refreshes the page. It doesn't actually publish and they lose all the work that they just did. Um, so until they have gotten this working correctly, I would recommend switching to the old version. Um, and then I'll just say I find it too difficult to use. Okay. There we go. This looks a little bit more familiar, right? So today we're going to be optimizing this imaginary listing. It is a cat themed coffee mug that says coffee and beans. This is not available for sale. This is just a goofy thing that I designed on Canva today. But what Which we want to do... why we called it just a test listing. Yeah, just a test listing. Um, but what we're going to do is try to get a good idea of our title, tags, and our descriptions. So a good place to start is by deciding what is my item. Well, obviously my item is a coffee mug. Um, there's a cat paw, so it's kind of cat themed. The word coffee is on it, so this could make a good cat lover type gift, a, a good coffee lover type gift, maybe like cat moms, cat dads, um, coffee shop decor, coffee bar decor. I'm getting a lot of good ideas here. So heading back over to E-Rank, what I want to start with is the keyword tool, which you can you know, enter some keywords up here, or you can go to our keyword tool within our tools list. 
So let's just start with a basic uh, keyword. Can we just start with the word cat and see what we get? If I'm typing, I'm going to put a keyboard over here. Yeah. Okay. So um, it looks like November, probably holiday shopping, is pretty prime time for cat-related products. But cat seems to be pretty well searched um, at all times. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a new keyword list so we can save some good keyword ideas. I'll go ahead and create new list. And let's just do cat mug. Save. There we go. That way, if we find some good keywords, we can save them. All right, so we've got, let's see, cat ID, cat tag, cat collar. Um, lots of cat collar items, but cat gift doesn't look like it's got a lot of searches right now. Um, however, I might want to work on this term for the holidays. It looks like it kind of popped up a little bit. It looks like last year it was well, a last, lot more popular. Yeah, last April and May they were a little more popular. Anthony said re-throttling. I've not seen any concrete evidence of throttling and no official comment from Etsy. I've seen a lot of comments from many sellers, though I suspect there is some limiting while a lot of new shops build up some trust and evidence of giving good customer experience. Ah, there we go. Yeah, and I think that that's associated a lot with the um, like the shops getting shut down mm -hmm. and stuff, too. I think they're still kind of trying to figure that system out, but it's been like two years now. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to save Cat Lover Gift. Um, because I see that in November it had a lot of searches, probably for the holidays. Uh, not quite a cat accessory. Let's see, cat mom gift. Not a lot of searches, um, and there's a lot of competition here, but there was, well, 450. I think that we might be able to play with this term, so I'm just going to save it um, and see what we get. We've got cat lover. Again, that one seems to be popping up, though we do have cat lover gift, so we'll mm -hmm. actually already match for that. So I'm not going to save that one. Um, let's see. Custom cat tags. And now we're getting into like gift for women, back to school, More cat specific art, stuff. gifts for cat lovers. We do have cat not lover gifts. Pretty high competition. But... Yeah. Um, all right. So let's try to, ooh, look, cat coffee mug. I'm going to save this one. Competition isn't actually all that bad on there, though the average clicks isn't super high either. I'm going to save cat dad mug, but I'm also, I'm going to click on cat coffee mug. I want to do a little bit more um, of a deep dive into this term because this is ultimately what we're selling, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like it did good in September. Those look more like a lack than, yeah. than an actual... Well, let's see. Um, let's see what we can get for our keyword ideas and see if there's anything else. So, cat mug is a little bit better, and we'll also be able to rank for um, cat coffee mug with cat mug. Funny cat mug. Amber said, "Gift for vet, gifts for vets." Yeah, veterinarians. Cat lover mug. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Cat mom mug. Gifts for vet text to use more characters. Yeah, something more specific, because most of the people here in the U.S. wouldn't search vet for veterinarian. They would search veterinarian or vet tech. Yeah. Because vets here, we think of veterans. Mil military veterans. Cat owner gifts. Okay. Cat mom gifts, coffee mug. I think we, I thought we saved cat mom gifts. Okay, so we got... I thought we did too. Maybe it was gift, like singular. Okay. I think that we've got a good amount to start with. So let's go ahead and go into our keyword list. I'm going to click view list. And I'm going to take a peek at what we've saved. So we've got cat coffee mug. Um, this one is ultimately what our product is. So I know that I want these words in my title. Um, so cat coffee mug cat dad gift cat gift all right so i've already got cat dad gift and cat mom gift so i'm just going to get rid of cat gift because i know we're already going to be yeah. able to match for that well that and cat dad gift the the clicks and ctr are good and there's far far less competition so yeah um cat lover gift and cat lover mug um we've already got cat coffee mug and cat lover gift so i'll go yeah, ahead that, and that's not 
the super good performer anyway, so we can get rid of it. Same with Cat Mom Gift. I think we can get rid of that too. I'm going to go ahead and keep one of these. I'll keep Cat Mom Gifts because I want Mom and Dad somewhere yeah. on my title. Agreed. Um, Cat Mom Mug is looking pretty good and we'll be able to match for that. We'll be able to broad match since we're going to do competition too. As long as we have cat mom and mug in there, it'll work. Um, cat mug again, we're already going to have that in cat coffee mug. So I'll go ahead and remove this one. Kill the air. Funny cat mug. I don't know if our mug is really funny. Um, I'll save this one as a maybe and gifts for cat lovers. We already have cat lover gift. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because we're already going to essentially have that term. So now, um, you know, we we are going to be able to get most of these terms at least broad matched into our title. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of start trying to craft my title in a way that feels like a fun little sentence, right? Um, there are a couple different ways to do this. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, is it better to write my titles as a sentence, like a, a big, you know, a, a sentence and try to make it sound natural? Or is it better to just put a bunch of keywords in there? In terms of the algorithm, the algorithm doesn't really care. Now, um, Etsy tells us that using those short descriptive sentences are more buyer friendly, which means that, you know, those shoppers who see it, they're going to be less confused. But at the same time, I also think that customers are pretty conditioned to seeing big long titles on, you know, sites like Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Um, so I really don't think, and this is purely speculation, that it's going to upset your buyers if you use a longer, um, more keyword stuff title, as long as you're not just putting cat gift, cat mom gift, cat dad gift, cat mug, cat coffee mug, you know, in just listing all of your keywords. You have to be a little bit strategic about it. And keep in mind that through broad matching, even if those terms aren't right next to each other, Etsy's going to play a fun little mix and match game, shuffle them up and read them in every possible possible combination. So even if your keyword is cat coffee mug, great gifts for mom, you'll still be able to broad match for cat mom gifts, even though those terms aren't right next to each other. Okay. So I want to try to rank for all of these terms. So let's see if we can get all of these into our title. Um, I'm going to start with cat coffee mug. Mm -hmm cat coffee mug and I'm going to work from here so um cat dad gift so we have dad and gift that we need to get in here and cat lover gift so what if we did um let's see great gift for cat lovers cats lovers oh, okay mom and dad okay all right so we already have cat in here twice we don't need to do that but like i said i'm just kind of brainstorming right now um cat lover gift cat dad gift cat coffee mug uh funny cat mug let's see what if we did funny cat coffee mug Um, what if we did perfect gift for cat lovers? You put per, like P-U-R? I, I was thinking that as I wrote it, my brain was like, <laughs> that would be cute. But then my brain just did that. All right. Funny cat coffee mug, perfect gift for cat lovers, mom and dad. Um, so this isn't the greatest title, to be perfectly honest. So let's play around with the new E-Rank tool that you guys can beta test if you are so inclined. Um, now, I could play with this for a long time, and this is probably, you know, what I would do. This is what I usually do is I sit and I, you know, will go through and try to formulate this into a sentence that makes more sense than funny cat coffee mug, perfect gift for cat lovers, mom and dad. Um, that would work, and I could probably get a couple more keywords in there, but I just want to see out of curiosity 
velocity, what would happen if we threw it into E-Rank's up and coming AI tool? So um, we've had a lot of people request an AI tool that can help with Etsy tags, titles, and descriptions. Now there is a downside to using this AI tool and that's that it doesn't pair up with our keyword tool, which means that you have to still do your keyword research and enter some good keywords into your query in order to get it to work. So what I'm gonna do is, I went ahead and sent it to myself so I could get the link. I'll tell you guys here in just a minute how to, um, oh, go away, go away, go away. I'll tell you guys how to um, beta test this in just a second, but this is our all new listing helper. Basically what we're gonna do is type in a brief description of the item that we want to sell. So I am selling this coffee mug it says coffee and beans. It has a cat paw. So I'm just going to say, what, maybe like white ceramic cat. Or how about coffee mug with orange cat paw that says coffee and beans. All right. Let's see what it gives us. Now this does take a few seconds and while it is doing its thing, I'll let you guys know how to beta test this. Um, all you need to do is when you're logged into your E-Rank account, click this little chat button, send, ah, it's a cat, <laughs> send uh, our E-Rank team a message and say, I would like to beta test the new AI tool. We'll get you hooked up with that. And then when you're testing it, if you have any feedback, if you see any errors or bugs, um, <laughs> go away, Anthony. <laughs> If, um, if you, I love how you guys get to see Anthony's personality. Um, if when you are testing the tool, if you notice anything that you want to, you know, convey over, you will automatically get a little chat with Anthony that says, thank you for offering to be a beta tester, um, for our new listing helper. You can just pop this open and message him directly. And you'll see that you're messaging Anthony. It'll pop right up and then he'll tell you not, you know, to, to, to you, go away. To go away. Yeah. So <laughs> you can tell him exactly what you think of the tool. Hopefully you enjoy it, but we are really looking for feedback when you test this. So even if it's great, just say it's great. Don't, I have... don't just come in and use it. Give like legitimate feedback. Like this could be better. This could be worse. All right. So let's see what it gave us. Um, white ceramic mug with orange cat paw print and coffee and beans. Okay. Um, coffee mug with orange cat paw and coffee and beans print on white ceramic. Okay. Um, white ceramic cat paw mug with coffee and beans design. Cute, but not quite what I want. So I'm going to actually adjust my query. I should have put, um, let's see, white ceramic coffee mug with orange cat paw that says coffee and beans. Uh, let's try to... <laughs> it literally just gave you what you typed. Let's go, I love that. Let's go ahead and add in um, great gift for cat mom and dad. All right, let's just see. Let's just see what it gives us. Sorry, I got to hit the enter key before you can get to the... Oh, that's fine. The click. That's fine. That's fine. And mm -hmm. in the meantime, let's take a peek over here at our listing and fill out a couple other listing details. Now, one thing that we want to do is make sure that our categories are accurate. Right now, they are not. It says that this is a t-shirt. It is not. So can you type in <laughs> mug? <laughs> All right. Mug, mugs, home and living, glassware, tumblers, drinkware mugs, uh, mug and clip art image files. So obviously ours is um, just a not a fine ceramic i'm just gonna stick it in drinkware and mugs. fine ceramic All i right. think it's fine reset attributes change category anyway okay um now you want to fill out your attributes as accurately as possible etsy tells us that these act kind of like tags mm -hmm. they also tell us that we don't need to repeat terms in our attributes in our tags i usually do if it's something i want to be known for even if i have mugs in my in my categories and things i still repeat mug because my product is a mug We'll go ahead and select ceramic. Primary color is white. Um, secondary color, I'm just going to go ahead and say orange because the cat paw is orange. Um, choose a unit. I'll just do, I don't know how many ounces it is. We'll just say nine. Um, dishwasher, save. Microwave, save. It's probably handle. 12 or 16. 
I don't think it's insulated, and I do believe it's enamel. Sustainability, it's not. Um, now, here's where a lot of people get mixed up, okay? Occasion, you guys might sit here and say, oh, yeah, Mother's Day's coming up, or, you know, oh, I guess Mother's Day's not on here. Oh, um, no, wait, celebration, there we go. Mother's Day's coming up. I'm gonna put this in the Mother's Day category because Mother or Mother's Day's coming up, and this will make a good Mother's Day gift. This is not a Mother's Day mug. It doesn't say anything about moms. It doesn't say Happy Mother's Day. It doesn't say I love my mom. It's not a Mother's Day mug. Therefore, it should not be placed in the Mother's Day category. We see this a lot during Christmas time where people say, oh, this is a Christmas mug, or it, it goes in the Christmas category because Christmas is coming up. Well, unless the mug is a Christmas mug and it's got Santa Claus and a little reindeer and, you know, a snowman on it, it's not a Christmas mug. So don't fill these out if your product is not for that particular category. Um, Etsy actually tells us that that's not what these categories are for. So I wish it would go away now that I'm decided not to. Thank you. <laughs> Escape key dog. <clears throat> and then graphic will select animal. Okay, so let's pop back over and see what we have adorable white ceramic cat mug coffee and beans perfect gift for cat lovers you know what love it they it's didn't actually not bad they didn't give us mom and dad in there the perfect ultimate gift. gift for cat mom and dad white ceramic mug with orange cat paw saying coffee and beans okay so we would get here's the thing i don't like that the, the ultimate the, gift i don't like that this is how it starts um because I think that mug should be our front and center keyword. Um, adorable white ceramic cat mug. Coffee and beans, perfect gift for cat lovers. I'm actually going to use um, white ceramic mug with orange cat paw. So I'm going to steal this part. Um, and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to get rid of the word white. Funny ceramic mug with orange cat paw. And then what else did we have here? Um, ultimate gift for cat mom and dad. You know what? I actually like this combo. Words like the don't really matter. There we go. Funny ceramic mug with orange cat paw. Ultimate or ultimate gift for cat mom and dad. Um, can we add coffee in there funny ceramic thank you for for catching that my oh, OCD. set my ocd <laughs> off immediately all right so funny ceramic coffee mug with orange cat paw ultimate gift for cat mom and dad um let's do funny ceramic cat coffee mug because i really want an exact match for cat coffee mug i want these were these terms right next to each other funny ceramic cat coffee mug with orange and then we can get rid of paw. Or we could even add in kitty. Bless Excuse me. We'll throw in kitty, you know, just to try to get another term in there. Kitty. Funny ceramic cat coffee mug with orange mm. kitty paw ultimate gift for cat mom and dad. I think that that's great. We're going to, our superstar keyword is cat coffee mug. That's ultimately what our product is. It's what we most want to rank for. Bubbers knows we're talking, he, he keeps hearing us talk about cats. Um, we also have gift for cat mom, gift for cat dad. Um, just Let's see. I, I, I'm pretty happy with this. We didn't get lovers in there. Um, I like how it does not keyword stuff, but writes keyword optimized sentences. For the most part, yeah, I think you still are. You're definitely going to want to audit anything it, you put through it, just yes. like any other AI tool. It is based on open AI, if, unless Anthony decided to change it up on me. No. Um, did you change it up on me, Anthony? <laughs> We're going to have to throw hands. I was waiting no. to see if he replied in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like a 30 second delay. Um, so you, you do definitely need to read through this. Don't just copy and paste it because it might say something goofy. It is a language based model. So it it has a chance that it might say something stupid or off. So always read through what comes out. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the description that it gave us. Um, enjoy a cup of coffee or tea in style with our charming white ceramic mug featuring an orange cat paw in the words coffee and beans. Perfect for cat moms and dads. This mug is a great gift option or a treat for yourself made from high quality ceramic. It's both microwave safe or microwave and dishwasher safe. Again, that's something you'd want to audit to make sure that if you're doing POD, the right. mugs that they sell are both microwave and <laughs> safe. 
What better way to show off your love for cats than this adorable white ceramic coffee mug featuring an orange cat paw and the phrase coffee and beans? Okay, so um, almost Redund the same. Redundancy. This white... So these are three different descriptions. Yeah. This white ceramic coffee mug is the ultimate gift for cat moms and dads, showcasing a fun orange cat paw with the words coffee and beans. It adds a pop of color to your morning coffee ritual, whether you're a busy parent, hard worker, or simply a caffeine addict. This mug is an <laughs> essential item in your collection. So why wait? Grab yours today. Uh, I don't like the why wait? Grab yours today. Um, I think that of these. I like the third one the most. Really? Yeah, I do. Featuring an orange cat paw and the phrase coffee and beans, it's a thoughtful gift for cat lovers or a cute addition to your mug collections. I, I think the third sounds the most personable. It sounds the most human. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab this one. and you then go ahead and grab the one I didn't like. Yeah. This is the one that you wanted. I said the third one. You grab the second one. The third one, white ceramic coffee. This white ceramic coffee mug is the ultimate gift for cat moms and dads. Shoking. Yeah, I loved that. Showcasing the words coffee and beans, it adds a pop of Okay, so I'll do this one, but I'm not going to do the whether you're a busy parent, a hard worker. I don't like that. I don't like that whole thing. It's going to be one of these days, guys. Yeah, one of these days. All right, this white ceramic coffee mug is the ultimate gift for cat moms and dads, showcasing a fun orange cat paw with the words coffee and beans. It adds a pop of color to your morning coffee ritual. And then usually what I like to do is, um, can you right click and add emojis? Yeah. Yes, you can. Um, I like to grab, you know, just a little pop of color to do a like a bulleted list. So you could, you know, maybe I would use little coffee mugs if I, I really what wanted. You want. Um, but you know, maybe you, you put the most important details in here. So we'll just say mug. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe nine ounces. Nine ounces. Um, drop a line. Let's do fluid ounces. Okay, and then we'll just giving them people nothing to critique us on um we'll do microwave safe okay drop a line okay dishwasher safe keep it short and simple and then you know maybe maybe underneath this you put in like a little bit of details about like your return policy uh mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. I you know maybe if you do print on demand, you put that all of our products ship from a third party. If you order more than one item, they might ship separately. Just whatever details people need to know about your mm -hmm. products. If it's jewelry, maybe your care instructions, things that they should know before placing their orders. But I like to put a bulleted list because this should show um, when you see the preview of the listing. You can stop. I'm not adding anything else to it. Um, it should still show up um you know in your little snippet so they said uh having a hard time with open ai's super complimentary tone i feel like saying my products are adorable beautiful feels braggy you can say but in a not uh non-complimentary way if you, you if you're literal with it it will do what you what you tell it to do it's still open ai all right, so let's do our tags. This is a section that everybody freaks out about. So cat coffee mug, this is our super star keyword. <laughs> our super star keyword. Um, this is what we mainly want to be known for. So I'll go ahead and add this to our uh, listing tags. That way I can just copy it in a minute. Cat dad gift. Now, technically, we do not need to repeat the word cat over and over. We don't have to do cat dad gift, cat lover gift, cat, you know, mom gifts, unless we really want to exact match for those terms. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with cat coffee mug, which if you add, you know, a bunch of these in, you can click copy and copy all of them. I only have one, so it's not really necessary. For but. those with dogs that were barking and other distractions, how do we request access again? It's YouTube. You just scroll back. Oh, well, just uh, d d click this button. Click this button. Message message here and ask for access to the beta tool. Oh, how do we request access again? I thought they meant to the YouTube video. No, <laughs> they want access to the beta tool. Log into E-Rank, click the little blue button. Open it up, message in here, and say that you want beta access. <laughs> I, th I thought they were talking about the YouTube video. We got uh, an audience of over 50,000 people. You never know. Let's try. Um, <laughs> let's see. We've got cat mom and dad. So I'm going to actually just do cat mom dad gift. Um, we already have cat. We really don't need it in there again. But I want cat and mom. I'm going to try to exact match for cat mom. And these are beside each other. Um, so cat coffee mug, we're going to exact match for. Uh, 
cat mom mug, we will broad match for cat dad mug, we will broad match for cat mom gift, we'll broad match for um, cat dad gift, we will uh, broad match for. So let's see, what else can we add? Um, what if we tried other variants of the word cat? What if we tried uh, kitty? Let's see what we get for kitty. And then I'm also going to add um, maybe like orange tabby might be a good one to I've stick in there. A, I've added a bunch of people to the beta testing group. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you give feedback. All right. We're getting a lot of Hello Kitty, which is not what we want. No. Um, we have Kitty by itself. Oh, it's all going to be Hello Kitty, isn't it? Yeah, we're it? not going to be able to do Kitty. Yeah. No Kitty. Kitty, kitty, resin, shaker, the, the hello kitty. The performance on these is so butt that there's no yeah. reason to even touch them. All right. What about, um, what about kitten? Let's try that. Um, and and hope, fine. and hopefully, well, we will. Hopefully we don't get anything inappropriate in these searches. Um, uh oh Kitten. Hello, kitten. <laughs> kitten play should might I, be. Should I ASMR in the, uh, mm, hello, kitten. No kitten. That Doesn't one didn't matter if you use mama or mother. I would probably stick with mother. Yeah. Translation wise, that's going to be the closest thing to what every language has. Not to mention you can and feline didn't give us anything. No. Not to mention you can go into your compare keywords tool and and see if mother, mom, mama, oop, and what is usually M O M M A. Mum. Mum. Mom. Mama's usually M O M. -M Add kitty to the keyword to remove it from the related searches. Ah, Anthony. Sheesh. You mean add minus hello? Add it. Oh, yeah. Add yeah, minus hello. Minus, minus hello. But compare keywords, we can see that, well, I don't know. Mama isn't too bad, actually. So just compare keywords if you want to see which are more searched. It looks like mom is the most searched. Mama, second, mother is third, and then mom is last on the list. Okay, so we want what? Kitty. Look, I'm learning. Kitty. No, 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 no. What? You need to do. You, you do it. Space minus hello. Yes. Okay. Oh. That did nothing. <laughs> we did it wrong, didn't we? Unless we just don't need the quotes. Remove. Give me the mouse. Okay. Take it the mouse. <laughs> Used to bully a dog. We're bad at this. We're bad at this. There we go. Okay. Now it's still all Hello Kitty. It didn't work, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Fix it. it didn't work. <laughs> Unless the quotes are needed there. <laughs> Isn't Hello Kitty copyrighted? That's literally yes. why we're trying to get rid of it. I think we, I'm pretty sure we need the quotes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, kitty. My bad, no quotes are fired. Okay. <laughs> Anthony Put it is first. the goat. Nope. It's not giving us anything. That's okay. Oh. Well, well feel free to... Fix so, it, Anthony. Fix it. Feel free to... <laughs> it's probably me. It's probably something I'm doing. Do we need a space? No. Because that would remove the... No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Anthony. I just imagine you with the little anime girl, like, embarrassed lines on the cheeks. I, like I a bright neon. I don't think he knows what you're talking about. I think he does. We'll Photoshop it later. It's fine. Anthony's a secret weeb. I guarantee it. He watches anime. <laughs> cat. I'm just going to ignore you for now. <laughs> cat dad gift. Cat lover gift. Cat mom gift. Cat mom mug. Funny cat mug. Um. So why don't we try... Um, funny coffee cup. Because we've done mug. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten funny in there. We haven't gotten, um, we haven't gotten cup in there. We could also just do funny cup. I'm going to go ahead and do funny coffee cup and try to exact match on that. Why, uh, did we, why did we not try to get squish beans? That's a popular thing that people are saying right now. Squish beans? Yeah. Squish 
beans? Yeah, that's what kitty paws are. Squish beans. Squish beans. Squish beans. Cute cat mug. Crazy cat lady. Crazy cat lady. That was another one that I actually was looking at. Um, crazy cat lady. Let's check it out. Yeah. Crazy yeah. cat lady. Crazy. All right. Yeah. Murder mittens. Murder. I don't think anybody's searching that. Yeah, you might get Icy Stars album. <clears throat> Let's see. Fur baby. Fur baby. Fur baby. You guys, you guys are nailing it. We right. could also try all one word for fur baby. Yeah. As long as it's not copyright. You um, think Etsy blocks murder mittens? Probably not. No. Fur baby dad. Not none of those are worth it. Now try one word singular. Fur baby. No. Nope. None. Uh, Literally zero. Did we not get squish beans to go through? Oh no, I must have not hit search. All right, there we go. Fake jelly beans, fork Bean. beans. No, I don't think that we have any. No Ooh. keyword. Oh yeah, no, none were found. Let's say, can we do quotes? But this might actually be one of those that I that I do a risk on, um, because it is a, a popular thing. Because it, it just because we don't have it doesn't necessarily mean people aren't searching for it. It can also literally just be a lack in data from the supplier, too. Yeah, every, right. one, every once in a while, I like to throw one in to experiment with, you know. And just... it is a relatively recent term that we're starting to see pop up in social media. So it might yeah. be something that they even have. All Pussy right. Cat, we're not going to type that. We're not going to type that word into, <laughs> into search on stream. Yeah, you never know what we'll get. Um, So that's probably going to be a no. Toe beans. That's actually one that would be. Yeah. That might be worth checking. Toe might give us some weird stuff too. Well, if we <laughs> toe, toe ring, ring, gold toe ring, closed toe sandals, fake jelly beans, it's all the same beans. stuff. Camel toe. <laughs> Good job. I told you. <laughs> Squish beans. <laughs> and <laughs> I'll go ahead and add toe beans in there as well. Um, we said lol, dirty fur baby. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see, cat coffee mug, cat mom dad gift, orange tabby cat, funny coffee cup, squish beans, toe beans. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in, what if we did, um, how about coffee bar? That's one that we might wanna experiment with. I think about people who hang up their mugs like on yeah. their coffee bars. Let's see, coffee <sighs> bar, coffee bar accessories. Coffee bar organization. Okay, so uh, coffee bar might be the only one that I would even want to go with, but I don't know if I would want to do that for this one. Um, we yes. have so much space, so yeah, it's not really a coffee bar accessory. Yeah, I think I'll just do coffee bar by itself. Coffee basser. Coffee bar. Um, we've got six left and usually I'm left with about six or eight that I struggle to fill out when I am doing these 13 tags. Um, let's see, we could get a little bit specific. So we're saying that it's a nine ounce mug. Let's see if we can That's get any not, good. It's, it's probably not nine. That's a weird ounce rating for mugs. That's not. That's what our, our tall mugs are. Our mug. ones up there, those are 12. No, the ones that we sell in Elf Adapter, nine ounces. Personalized cat mug, mushroom mug, pottery mug, handmade mug, custom coffee mug, personalized cute, cute mug. That one might actually be good. Said, what about Joe or Java? Cute mug. Somebody said, don't forget about tea. I actually like tea mug. Let's see if we can get... When we report a store that keeps purchasing their own products and leaving reviews, 20 plus reviews from the same profile. Yes, you can. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You can, but the likelihood that anything <laughs> is actually going to come of it versus the stress that it's probably causing you right now, um, it's it's really not worth it. I, I I know that you guys hate to hear it, but you're not the pol you're not the Etsy police. People are saying it should be 11 or 15 ounces. Yeah. OK, maybe it is 11. Um, I would just not worry about it, honestly. Let people make their own mistakes. They'll probably get caught eventually. I know that that sucks, um, but Etsy isn't. They're not dumb. They know what's up. This, this time of year, teacher gift or coworker gift. 
Yeah, but it's not really related to what we're selling. Um, vet. Oh yeah, vet yeah, veterinary. Is. Yeah, but it's a cat. There's an e in there. Veterinary. Oh, vet, 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 veterinary, vet, veterinary, veterinary. I did it like vet, vet. Yeah. Okay. That's a word not a lot of people spell out very often. Veterinary. Veterinary <clears throat> medicine. Veterinary. Jo These are actually not great keywords, are they? Well, Etsy, when will Etsy stop drop shippers, if ever? Well, the thing is... Pretty hard to catch. Yeah, if... How do you propose they do that? How do you propose that they determine the, you know, an expert crafter who's just really good at what they do? Um, how do you propose that they differentiate whose products are handmade and whose aren't? Either an algorithm has to do it, and we all know how bad Etsy's algorithms are in terms of, you know, filtering out what can and can't be sold... Or a human has to do it. And that comes up to a human's, um, you know, subjectivity. They're going to have to mm -hmm. determine with their eyeballs if your product is handmade. And if it's a person, you're not going to get any second chances. Yeah. So <laughs> while I understand, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Etsy has a pretty terrible track record with human resolution. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot that is possible. Um, I, I just always ask that people, when they have issues, that they also propose solutions. And yes. at this time, there, the reason that it, nothing's being done is that there isn't really a good solution yet. Yeah. And who's to say that they determine that it is the same company as a drop shipper? Maybe the company that actually makes the products, they allow drop shipping, but they also put their products on Etsy, which is made by their company. Then you're not going to store off. It's not doing anything wrong. All right. Now I'm down to my last three. Um, I've got a lot of really good exact matches in here. I've got cat coffee mug. I'm going to broad match on cat dad gift, cat mom gift, um, orange tabby mug, um, Funny coffee cup, funny cat mug, funny cat cup, uh, squish beans, cat squish beans, cat toe beans, uh, coffee bar mug, cat coffee bar, uh, cute mug, cute cat mug, cute cat gift, cute cat mom gift, cute cat dad gift. These are all going to broad match. Remember, Etsy's going to mix all these up. Um, tea mug, cat lover gift. I just need three more. And like I said, when you get down to these last ones, this is just kind of where you start tossing in your gibberish. Um, what do you think? What, what can our last three be? I mean, we kind of went over most of everything. Well, we got to fill out the last three. So let's try to, I like, I like the teacher gift idea. I think it's okay. a good time. Lots of teachers like cats. All right, so let's go Maybe. ahead. We'll check it. I was about to say gift for teacher, but. Well, we'll teacher <clears throat> gift. And you guys notice how I'm not obsessing so much over the competition. I know that you guys like get super obsessed over it. I do take a look and I do allow the colors to kind of guide me a little bit. And I use the colors to decide between, you know, one keyword over another. But the thing is, when it comes to your listing quality scores, as you grow on Etsy, you'll be able to rank for some of these terms that are a little bit harder to hit. Um, so Thanks for donating, Anthony. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Anthony. Um, so teacher gifts looks pretty good. Obviously, our competition is higher. We aren't going to be, you know, ranking on page one. Um, but we could, you know, we could technically broad match if somebody searched for, you know, teacher cat gifts, te teacher mug gifts, um, and so on. So teacher gifts, bulk, personalized. I'm just trying to see if there's anything better. Science teacher gifts, um, English teacher gifts, best teacher gifts. So we will actually exact match for teacher gifts, even if we use best key or best teacher gifts. So even though the competition is high um, and the searches are low, we're still going to have teacher gifts in there. So I'm going to actually toss in best teacher gifts. There we go. Then he said, add some recipients, mom, dad, sister, best friend. Yeah, yeah. We've got mom, dad mm -hmm. in there. We've got teacher now. Um, we have... Pam said personalized cat mug, custom and handmade mug are all good, but not relevant if your imagery yeah, yeah. or your imaginary mug is POD. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and then let's just do um, maybe like librarian we're, we're, while we're going on recipients. Sure. I'm trying to think a little bit more niche. Librarian gifts. 
That yeah. looked. I mean, competition's high, but it's not that bad. Yeah. 60,000. Librarian gift, librarian shirt, desk. Gift for librarian. Yeah, let's let's toss it in there. So what we want to focus on is making sure that all of our superstar keywords, the keywords that we really want to be known for, everything that we have that's up in our title is hopefully very relevant to our product. Um, funny cat or funny ceramic cat coffee mug with orange kitty paw. Um, ultimate gift for cat mom and dad. We've got all of these terms and we have put, I, I believe we have put them all down in our, um, am I, get out of that box. <laughs> I like the little face subscribe button in the right hand corner of the video. I've never seen or noticed that before. Do we, oh. have, a, do we have a? Yeah, it's my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I think that we've done a pretty good job. Now, the last thing that I do want to know is that for your materials, make sure that you don't shove a bunch of keywords in here. That's not what it's for. Etsy's not looking at these. Just put what, you know, ceramic. Mm -hmm. Just put what your materials are that you are using for your products. I see so many people who sit here and they cram this with keywords. Etsy's not even looking at this. No, don't, don't worry about that. Um, that's, that's for like literal searching. All right. So um, I think that this looks pretty decent. Honestly, this this is something that I would publish um, just to give it a spin and see how it does. And if it doesn't do good, maybe I would swap out, you know, mom and dad. If I, you know, maybe I put librarian up here if this particular listing doesn't do very well. Maybe I stick teacher up in the title. Um, there are always ways to experiment. Just make sure that you're giving your listing plenty of time um, Etsy tells us 60 to 90 days, you know, just kind of let that listing sit for a couple months, see how it performs. I also recommend going in to our listing changes tool. Anthony said we also have the most popular recipients in the trend buzz. Yes, yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Yes, and I yes. Would, yes, yes. I, yes, wanted, yes. I wanted to show the uh, trend buzz as well. Um, but if we go into our active listings right now, we're just using the Alpha Dap shop and we click the little button that says track changes. E-Rank will start tracking those changes and showing us a daily snapshot. So I'll just grab this one. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to stop. I wanted to show, show changes. And then you can kind of see um, how your views, favorites, and sales change. Of course, I picked one that never gets any views. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can just kind of keep an eye on how those changes impacted your listing. So you can see, you know, if you made a change to your tags, here they all are. If you made a change to your title, here it is. And then the next day, you know, if you change it, you can see exactly what change you made. Uh, E-Rank will highlight the change that you made. That way, if you make a change that you don't like, you can always change it back. Um, you can also go into our trend tools, like Anthony said. And if we wanted to see the most popular recipients, we can click on recipients. So baby seems to be the most popular out of all of the terms searched for. Women, men's, dog, men, girl, cat, mom, teacher, women's, kids, you, <laughs> bridal, boy, Bride, bridesmaid. You is probably for the TV show because the season just came out. Not that yeah, long ago. yeah, yeah. Um, and you can also go through some of these categories. I recommend actually going into the monthly trends for things like our mug. If I was a you know mug seller and I wanted to explore more about mugs, I might go into you know maybe I go into SVGs. Well, if something's popular in SVGs, it might be popular on mugs as well. So I might go through and see, you know, what is popular? A lot of these are obviously going to be Easter themed because it's, um, you know, data from last month, but Highland Cow SVG. <gasps> Highland Cow, look, look at what? that. Why? They're very popular right now. Oh, are they? The fuzzy cows. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody probably made a video, right? Fuzzy cows. So um, if I was a mug maker and I see that in SVGs, Highland Cow SVGs are popular, it, it really doesn't matter what I make. That tells me that Highland Cows are popular. I might want to make Highland Cow mugs or um, shirts. Yeah, there you go. Um, just make sure that you avoid the the copyright themed products like Thing 1, Thing 2. Um, spring Soccer softball so i'm sure like what soccer and softball season are probably starting nurses mm -hmm. girls trip that makes sense superhero yeah girls trip Ooh, that would be fun who's, who's got a crazy girls trip planned me no i don't well, you ain't going nowhere i ain't going nowhere <laughs> um but yeah this is just you know another way to to use e-rank so um we'll go ahead and stop screen share now i All think right. that
here we are. That was like a whole hour. And that's why I don't usually optimize listings live because they take a lot of time. They do. Um, but guys, feel free to let <laughs> us know if you have any questions. I think Anthony's still here in the chat. Pam Hi. Duthie, who is also, um, so you guys can see us every Thursday over on the E-Rank channel. She does tons of amazing videos for E-Rank that are on the E-Rank channel. If you've got a question about E-Rank, she's probably got a video on it. And if she doesn't, you can always, you know, comment on one of the E-Rank videos and say, hey, could you make a video about this? Um, but yeah, let, we'll go ahead and... Uh, mm -hmm. Go back up and get through some of the questions that maybe I'm... Is print-on-demand classed as drop shipping? Um, No, because drop shipping... Is a already existing products. That's the difference. Yes. Drop shipping is products that already exist. Right, right. Um, And <clears throat> print-on-demand is allowed on Etsy. Drop shipping is not allowed on Etsy. Uh, can I do anything about a store that's literally copying everything from my store, even my about me section? Yeah, you, I mean, con contact Etsy. That's about the best that you can do. And if it's do actually doing damage and Etsy isn't doing anything, that's when you need to contact a, a legal expert. Yeah. If you want to take it that far. Yeah. All right. Uh, are we doing the highest ranking tags? Where are we going? Where are we is it better to have a single product image or a great collage of product images as your thumbnail? Single product image. Your your listing photo, your thumbnail is going to be so small that a collage is not going to be visible. To... Think, of, think about the common person that's going to be looking at it and the common way that it's going to be displayed. It's going to be like a little two inch by two inch image on a screen that's several feet away from someone. Or in, their in phone. Cases, or their phone. And it's going to be as big. And if I can't tell what it is, I'm not even going to bother clicking on that image. Yeah. And most people probably agree. Uh, is it better to have a, uh, I just read that one, uh, on another <laughs> note, do you and Mark believe Etsy would eventually allow resellers? No, I don't. Uh, nope. like they did with POD and digital. What are your thoughts on it? Perhaps handmade item would get the badge or SMG. No, because that would just be like Amazon or eBay, like everybody else. And I don't think Etsy wants to be that. Yeah. Yeah. They, <clears throat> they own other companies like, um, <laughs> They, they own Depop, they own yeah, Reverb. Reverb. I mean, maybe as a last ditch effort, if Etsy starts to fail as a company, maybe they'll throw something like that on, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Right. That would be, that's like saying, do you think that McDonald's will ever go vegan? No, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, I have a competitor that says right in the description that the item is made in another country, the shop is in the U.S., and that it'll take three to five weeks for shipping from that country. Is that legal? That's what print-on-demand is, essentially. Uh, it's print-on-demand, and if they're listed as a production partner, that's probably still okay. Yeah. It just depends. I would have to have more context. Yeah, yeah I, think the, I think the context of what the product is, how it's sent, what mm -hmm. it's used for, I think, there's, I think context matters in a case like that. Uh, is there a place to watch this later? Yes. Right here. It will immediately you, be a replay. You can even <laughs> just leave this video up. Take your finger to the bottom of the of the screen. If you're on your mobile or on your computer, you can just drag where the little dot is and drag that to the beginning, and it'll play from the beginning. Can I ask what you'd suggest doing for materials for those of us who do digital art, drawing, and stickers and stuff? Technically, there's no materials. Just put digital file. Yeah, you can just put digital file. You could put uh, electricity. No, I think that that would be silly. Pixels? <laughs> Red, green, blue? Just uh, digital. I would just put digital file. I would be creative with it. <laughs> I don't think it matters it's either for, way. It's for your customers. Mm -hmm. They're the only ones who are looking I, at I it. I think red, green, and blue are the best ones because it'll be, <laughs> only nerds are going to understand it. Yeah, I'd just put digital file. Red, green, blue is... I mean, some, I've seen some people use the programs they like, like Photoshop. Leaving it blank is fine. Uh, do you happen to have a podcast? God, I hate that I asked that <laughs> for the handmade alphas or E rank. Um, no, because everything that we do is very visual, and a lot mm -hmm. of what I mean, we could we have people who ask if we can turn the Friday Bean into a podcast, but and just a, imagine trying to listen to what I just did and not have the screen to look at. It wouldn't make sense for us to do something like a podcast for this. It would have to be over like news and Etsy politics and things like that, and. That just makes people hate you. So we're, we're just not going <laughs> to we're just not going to touch that. Yeah, we ah. um, the if you have YouTube premium, um, you can technically listen to any YouTube video with your phone screen off. For mm -hmm. those of you who like to like drive and listen to things, there are now officially 150 episodes of the Friday Bean. Woo! Today is episode one. Turn them on. I'll, uh, you go back more than like six months to a year and they're going to be pretty dated for the most part. But. It's not yeah. too bad. Uh, and also, for those of you putting in questions, they do not have to be related to the topic at hand. They can be Etsy questions in general. This is our open question time. We're lacking on questions. Uh, 
Starlin Pam do an E-Rank Tube show on Thursdays. Exactly. If you uh, don't get your question answered here, because usually we cut this off in about 30 minutes, you can also check out the E-Rank live stream every Thursday over on the E-Rank channel. You can just type E-Rank into YouTube and it should be the first channel that pops up. Yeah, there's 271 of you here. And yesterday for the E-Rank stream, we had like 50 people. Mm -hmm. So um, we are able to answer questions over there as well. How good is you've sold more than 78% of other shops? It is 78% better <laughs> I mean, really, that's 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 that's, a, that's the literal answer. Yeah, it's I, good. It's good. Um, that that's yeah. I mean, that is literally what it means. So that's good. Uh, what about drop shipping and personalizing, like with a laser or another way? Then well, it wouldn't be drop shipping because then it's arriving to you or someone else being personalized and sent. That yeah. would, that's different than drop shipping. Yeah, you you you're you're purchasing a supply basically, and then mm -hmm. it, it's being shipped to you, and then you you're are creating a personalized product. Yeah, so that would be more like wholesale, and that would probably be fine. Yeah, that would be more like you ordering a, a supply. When would you consider changing your title and tags? Um, if you've got a listing that's not seasonal, because obviously, like, for example, if you're complaining that your Christmas products aren't selling, well, that's a duh. Just leave those alone. Um, but if it is a normal, you know, listing that should be selling any time of year and you're not seeing any progress with it, I would start with changing <laughs> your thumbnail um, and, you know, trying to see if it's something else that's wrong with your listing. Um, but then after, you know, your listing is set to expire, it expires every four months. Um, I would consider if that listing hasn't gotten any traffic during that time frame, then, you know, before it renews again, maybe go ahead and start reevaluating your keywords. Uh, I make candles and wax melts and I have a hard time with tags. Most of my tags are the same as everyone else who sells them. It seems like, how can I attract more buyers with my tags? Um, I mean, they're going to be the same because what you sell are wax melts. You can get creative with how you name your scents mm -hmm. and things. Um, but really getting into gift recipients, um, you know, trying to narrow down on you know, recipients that they're not using. If they're using basic ones like mom, dad, grandma, sister, maybe start hopping into some. Uh, for example, I was doing research and found that social worker gift was a really great keyword. That's a unique one. Yeah, yeah. And wax melts, thankfully, are, are a good gift for anybody. Um, I would start looking at, you know, real estate gifts. I know that real estate um, consultants and, and things, what are they called? Real estate agents, not consultants. Agents. Real estate consultants. Real estate consultants. Should I buy a house? <laughs> Should, I? <laughs> Should I? I don't know. I think that a couple people, you know, could probably... I've been use... using a tent for years. <laughs> I'm and thinking... I've heard great things about houses. <laughs> Real estate agent gifts for real estate agents might be a, an option. Um, yeah, I just do a deep dive into some other types of recipients. That way, you can try to fill out those thirteen wow. tags. Also, also consider like you're in an extremely saturated niche, and especially post COVID, when because let, let's just be real, the whole scents and candles and things that was primarily a female audience up until a certain point. And then with COVID, I can see that. a lot of people are getting into it. A lot more guys are like, okay, my house stinks. I spend more time here. I need to make my house not stink. So it's an increasingly more saturated market. More guys are getting into it, which means the size is doubling. That That's sellers and buyers, right? Ask him how so, he knows. Leave me alone. <laughs> he likes his good smell. Oh, I do. I love my good smells. Um you're going to have to focus a lot more on your offsite advertising as well. Don't just rely strictly on organic traffic. And that, that goes for everyone. Even if you're not in a saturated niche, you should be trying to do offsite advertising and building an audience, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, if you can uh, branch out, branch yeah. out away from the website and don't rely specifically on your SEO. And the more the more saturated your market is, the more important that offsite advertising is going to be because you standing out in the front isn't going to matter as much whenever there's a hundred thousand other people selling the same thing. Yeah, and down below is my <clears throat> free 30-day Instagram challenge kit. That will help you to schedule out 30 days worth of Instagram content. Um, and then my free Etsy SEO toolbox is down there as well. I personally think that when it comes to driving traffic, driving your own traffic from social media and Etsy SEO are equal in importance. Etsy SEO helps you to get traffic that is already shopping on Etsy. They are already interested in buying, they are shopping, right? So you know, that's great. However, during spring and summer, there's not a lot of traffic on Etsy, but you know where they are? They're hanging out on social media, they're taking pictures, they're showing off You know, their cool summer vacation. 
posting on social media is a good way to kind of send some of that traffic directly to your Etsy shop, especially during slow season. So I personally think that they're equally important. And Instagram is my favorite platform to do that just because um, it, it is the easiest platform to get ahead on. Um, I am working a lot more with Pinterest lately, trying to learn a little bit more about how their algorithm works. Pinterest is good as well. Um, I'm not confident enough to start teaching it yet, but I hope to be pretty soon. I'm, I'm actively working on it. Uh, do you always have your listings auto renew and why? Um, there's no real reason why. It's just our shop's POD. So it's a little easier for us, but you should, I mean, you can leave it on auto renew if you're, if you have the stock and you want to have the scarcity tactic kind of playing in, you only list one no, or two things at a time. The auto renew is if it expires every four months. Like, oh, if it, yeah, why not? Unless yeah. you don't have the money to, to list them. Yeah. Every four, I mean, it just, it's just a way to not have to worry about it and remember and you know every one last thing to track right every once in a while you look at your shop and you realize oh crap <laughs> all my listings expired you know three weeks ago and they've all been sitting in my deactivated listings i had no idea it's just a time saver really how's bubbers doing he's great he's doing much better we can name the podcast oh um, uh do you ever think ai will be able to help with product descriptions for the adult category so far i've hit several brick oh, walls oh that's um i so Anthony, I know we're using OpenAI. I don't know if we're able to bypass the the like adult restrictions on that. Could you comment on that or say whether or not that's even possible? Because I know a OpenAI, which is what we're basing ours off of, doesn't really allow for not safe for work topics. Um, yeah, I but I don't know if those blocks are prior to our implementation or after. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I can see people doing a lot of bad by uh, by allowing AI to have that type of freedom and oh I agree no there's it's definitely dangerous but yeah I think if we I don't know uh, I, I as of right now my answer is probably no um my suggestion would be to use an unrelated word to the product that you're selling and then mm -hmm. fill in the blanks with your words yeah that can be kind of hard though because opening it's it's contextual right like with the mug it all was able to pull that it was ceramic it was great it was able to pull that like maybe you're a caffeine addict and you drink coffee and you had nothing about coffee and what and what you you know well, what i mean if so for example if you sell like i don't know nipple rings say body jewelry and see what it pops up. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that there are ways that you could work around it, but it's going to be very specific to what you sell. Great gift for your butt. I'm <laughs> that should just be the title instead of great gifts for mom. I can't, I can't anymore. Hey, that was the most, that was the most like, don't get us demonetized way. I could say that. Uh, not related, but good idea. You should do Twitch streaming instructional videos too. I would watch them. To be honest with you, there's so much on YouTube that are from significantly more famous people than us that I wouldn't even want to touch it. No, there's, yeah, there's way people that are way better at it than we are. And most of it's, most of it's studio setup and just having the money to have better equipment. But yeah, I don't want to do that because we spent so much money just to be able to stream on Twitch and now we don't even do it. <laughs> hardly ever so uh, it's just not something to yeah. watch watch a w find a 19 year old boy who has a really great 19 year old boy most of the ones that are really good at it are in their like mid to late 30s there is some young young fellow who has a youtube channel probably dedicated to just it. just like realizing our favorite twitch streamers are in their they're older than us i had no freaking idea yeah anyway do y'all recommend an online shop as well as an etsy shop an etsy shop is an online shop you mean they, a website? they, they mean their own website yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, if if possible. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, if your Etsy shop gets shut down, you'll have something else. It's always possible that something could happen to your shop. Uh, if a listing doesn't perform when you renew it, is it okay to simply renew while improving SEO or is it better to start a fresh listing? Yeah, keep that same listing. Yeah, there's no keep the same listing. There's no benefit in creating a brand new listing. Just keep working on the listing that you have. My listings are often on Pinterest, so starting a new one means it shows uh, our item unavailable on Pinterest. Does it make much of a difference? Just keep the same listing. Uh, I have a digital shop and a physical shop. Can I put the same item in both shops, like wall art that I offer, digital downloads, printable, and ship to physical print? Um, as long as the item that they're getting is different, as long as the end product is. If it's a, the yeah, same design, but one is... Can't do that. No, if it's the same design and one is a physical... 
printed out product and one is a digital product and they're in different shops. They're ultimately what they are purchasing is a different product. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what's on it. The product is what matters. Yeah. And I would usually prefer that anyway, because if you try to put them both in the exact same shop, you're going to have a lot of people buy the wrong thing. That was a thing we used to get a lot of questions about, like, can I do a digital item and then do a physical item in the same shop of the same thing? And You've it's like, that's it. a really, you got to be dang sure that you're making it obvious of what they're buying. Mm -hmm. uh, should I renew or relist after a tag change? Tag change. Um, tag change, yeah. You can, if you've made a really, really major change to your SEO, it's fine to renew that listing. Um, and pay the 20 cents to kind of, you know, <clears throat> help Etsy recognize that you've made those changes. You don't have to. Um, there's no reason to to relist it or create a new listing, I assume, is what you're asking. There's there's no reason to do that. Just improve the listings that you have. But whether or not you renew them, that's up to you. Just don't make a habit of it. There are all these coaches who tell you to go in and, like, select all your listings and renew them every day to get your little boost from Etsy because Etsy does give a boost to new listings. Um However, abusing that boost is just going to cause Etsy to see like, hey, this listing is being boosted, but it's still not selling. And that's just going to drop you further and further and further down over time. So don't do that. Don't Anything that games Etsy system usually is going to hurt you. When E-Rank extension. Soon. Yes. <laughs> Soon. Do you ever do quick audits of listings online? I no, we do not. Um, I do, actually. We do... Um, we do shop critiques on our channel, but they are completely random. They are here on the Friday Bean. You cannot message me and ask me for one. You cannot offer to pay me for one. I don't care how much you offer me. I will not accept it um, because there's over 50,000 of you. And I wouldn't have time to do all of the great and wonderful things that I do for you guys if I had to sit and do critiques all day. You can pay um, me to yell at you. Sure. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, five hundred dollars. <laughs> but if you keep an eye on our YouTube channel, um, we do we do do critiques every few months. And um, just so you guys are aware, my Handmade Alpha Academy, which is my Etsy coaching program, that's going to be opening on June fourteenth through the twenty fourth for enrollment. We only open it twice a year, so if you've been waiting for that, you need to make sure that you write June fourteenth on your calendars. But during that week that Handmade Alpha Academy is open, we usually do critique week um we yeah have, we haven't, that's true we haven't talked about it but if you want to do daily critiques for critique week this year we'll talk about it okay so we might <laughs> we'll talk about it they wear us out um, they wear us out but we might do critique week during the week that haa is open again you don't get to sign up for those though they are completely random and you have to be here to get one uh, does it matter what punctuation mark is used for titles, comma, period, forward slash, hyphen? No, it, it doesn't necessarily matter. I like to say go with whatever looks best for you. I like space, period, space. I also like slashes. I like the straight, the, what is that? The straight up and down line. I don't remember what the actual name for that is. Probably the line. Wait till you hear about apartments. It's like a house, but you don't own it. <laughs> okay, oh, look at Anthony given, given access to little 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 secret things Ooh. 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 nothing wrong with a nice smelling guy i don't know about that <laughs> uh playing off the punctuation what about apostrophes is the phrase men's different than men's comma when nope. the algorithm is concerned Algori nah. nope algorithm sees it all the same it's um, pretty smart yeah um apostrophes they don't really matter i i would say you know if you want your listing to look more grammatically correct for the sake of your uh, shoppers who are looking at them, then maybe add them in there. But no, the algorithm doesn't care. This was really helpful. Signed up for uh, free E-Rank long ago. Never really understood how to use it. Uh, are the features used today available on the e all E-Rank versions or do I need to upgrade? Um, you you will have quotas. Um, so for the keyword tool, I can't remember how many free users how or how many searches you get. But for the keyword tool, you will hit limitations um, because this data, it does take a lot of E-rank juice to be able to give you this data. E-rank uh, juice. E -rank How much does that cost, Anthony? How much is one can a, of e -rank a juice. gallon of E-rank juice? Oh, a gallon. So um, we do have to put limitations on the free <laughs> trials. There's also, you know, buttheads who like try to scam on, steal all our data. Um, but if you end up hitting that brick wall, 
and you feel like you need to upgrade, just upgrade to whatever the you know next plan is. For a free user, that'll be basic. It's only $5.99 a month. Mm-hmm. To be perfectly honest, that is a fantastic plan for most people. Um, unless you are a very high volume seller doing a butt ton of research, then I would recommend the pro plan. And if you're somebody who helps a lot of people or you're one of those sellers who has like 10 shops for some reason, um, then you're going to want the expert plan because that one's more designed for giant shops. I updated my titles and tags, but E-Rank is showing my data as red for a couple of single word tags per listing. How bad are single word tags? They're not. Um, E-Rank is not telling you anything is bad. The listing audit is basically just telling you to follow Etsy's best practices. Single word tags aren't bad. It's that you could be getting more keywords in there. You are missing opportunities to try to shove some extra keywords in there. You could put, if one of your keywords or one of your tags is mom, it doesn't need to make sense. You could put mom, dad in there. Mom, dad, mom, sister. Mom, dad. Be- because uh, Etsy's algorithm is going to read them in every possible combination. It's just that the listing audit is a checklist that is telling you if you're following Etsy's best practices and giving you suggestions based on those. But it doesn't, it's not telling you that your keywords are bad. It's not telling you that you need to make changes. And honestly, if a listing is performing well, don't make changes even if the listing audit is highlighting a bunch of things that, you know, that it says you're doing wrong. It That's... Yeah. Uh, I want to try social media ads. When would be a good time since we're in the slump? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> you No better. I mean, it's that's totally up to you. Social media ads are OK, but keep in mind that you're you are competing with every other big brand who also runs social media ads. And it's very likely that you're not going to be investing the type of money that bigger brands are. Um, social media ads are very, very hit or miss. At least on Etsy, you're only competing with other shoppers and you're competing on the platform that you're selling on. Um, I personally find Etsy ads to be better for Etsy sellers, but I mean, it's fine to experiment. Just keep in mind that it's always a gamble. You know, it's always, it's always a risk. If you're willing to, you know, play with your money a little bit, just to see, start them anytime. I sell PDF crochet patterns. Do you think gifts for tags would work for me? Sure. Can't really say. Sure. I mean, try it out. No, no reason not to test it. Gifts for crafters, maybe gifts for gifts for kids. Yeah. How do you feel about Google ads? Again, you're competing with everybody else who's paying for Google ads. And if you can't compete with, you know, big brands who sell similar things to you, it's probably not going to do much for your shop. Yeah, it really does depend on what you sell. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Mark, you're funny. Looking, maybe. Uh, yeah. We're less than three months old with 150 plus listings, running ads, eight sales. Concerns our conversion rate. Titles and tags are E-ranked as A's and B's. What should we do to improve our conversion rate? Um, well, <clears throat> there there's no way for me Excuse to me. answer that question no. because the thing is, that's the same as you walking into the doctor's office and saying, Doc, my stomach hurts. And when the doctor goes near you, you say, don't touch me. <laughs> like the doctor can't look at you, your body and say, yes, I know yeah. exactly what's wrong. Um, There's a million and one factors that play into that. First of all, 150 plus listings in three months is a lot. OK, so just be aware that all of these Etsy YouTubers out there who say you got a list every day, you got to have a shop that's full of listings. That's not how that works. That doesn't guarantee success. P.O.D. I must be the P.O.D. or digital, I would assume. Yeah, it, there are there are like all these Etsy gurus who are trying to convince everybody that you have to have 6000 listings to be successful. Mm-hmm. And that's not true. So just if that's why you're doing that. Just know that that's not true. It it does get expensive. Running ads, again, that doesn't guarantee success. You need to have a proven product first. Your customers are telling you, or or your lack of, should be telling you that there's something up. And it might be better to dig into the items that you're creating and try to determine what is wrong with them before you start trying to make more of them and listing more. Um, Because it might not be your titles and tags. It doesn't matter if you've got A's and B's. That doesn't tell, the the listing audit isn't looking at your keywords and looking at the search volumes related to them. It's just telling you if you're following Etsy's best practices. So it doesn't mean that your, <clears throat> your listings are well optimized. Um, that's not what that tool is for. So I would try to get back to basics and start asking the basic questions of, who are my products for? Is there a demand for my type of products? Do my thumbnails look as good as my competitors? Um, am I 
I'm just trying to fill my shop with as much crap as possible in hopes that someone out there will buy it. Do I have a niche? Do I have a target audience? Is my shop branded? Are my photos, you know, standing out in a search page next to all of my competitors? Um, these are really important questions that a lot of sellers don't ask themselves before they fill their shop with products. Um, so definitely start reevaluating your foundation before you start putting more items <laughs> in your shop because it's just going to get more expensive um, with all of those listings sitting there not selling. Willy Wonka said, I got uh, 20,000 sales with just this six listings. Johnny. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. I'm going to call him Willy Wonka Willy from now on. <laughs> 20,000 sales with just six listings. And I constantly get messages from sellers who are like, I have a thousand listings and nothing's selling. Like it, does, it doesn't right. matter how many listings you have. Uh, do Etsy ads improve future sales and listing quality score? They, so. Listing quality score doesn't have to anything to do with you paying for ads. Right. So if you make sales, yes. Do Etsy ads improve future, what? Future sales? They, they. They could. That's what, that's what they're literally for. However, it's not a guarantee that they will. Yeah, it's a gamble. Does it, does going to the casino increase the chances that you'll make money? No, it, not necessarily. It can. It could if you win. Um, so it just, it completely depends on if your ads are effective. And for your ads to be effective, you still have to have good SEO. You still have to have good photos. You still have to be a trustworthy shop that customers mm -hmm. are willing to uh, put money into. You still have to be branded. There's, there are other factors at play. Uh, what about people who have a website and Etsy? Should we just end up putting a link for all shops, trying to figure out what to put where? I've seen a few people with an uh, actual website plus Etsy. Not quite sure specifically what you're asking. Do you mean like when you're advertising on social? You can't, okay, so you cannot put your website anywhere in your Etsy shop other than in your about section when you fill that out. There's mm -hmm. a little area that says if you have a website, you can paste it in. You can't put your website anywhere on Etsy. That's directing people off of Etsy to make a purchase, which is against their terms of service, and it can get you banned. Um, in terms of social media marketing, you can give them the option. A lot of people feel more comfortable shopping with, from Etsy. So if you've got like your Instagram bio with a link tree in it, it's totally fine to stick your Etsy link in there and your website link. Would it be weird if I put a sign in my yard with my Etsy? Not in particular. I'm not a huge mm. fan of advertising that you have valuables in your home. Um, yeah. You could be, because they, they won't know right off the bat what you're selling. You could be saying, I have a huge inventory w worth of products in my house. Come steal them from me. Um, yeah. On your car, maybe? Bumper sticker? Window? A logo on the side that that could probably be OK, but I, I wouldn't put anything that makes you a target in your yard. Yeah. <clears throat> would it be? Uh, that was the same one. Susan. Uh, yeah. Will Etsy ever consider removing shops that have gotten so big that they're no longer handmade? Again, Etsy would have to have somebody looking at that shop and determining based on what they're seeing with their eyeballs, if the product is handmade. And what if you are so good at your craft and you are handmade, but you're so good at your craft that your products don't look handmade anymore, that you are just that good at it. And Etsy closes you down because they say you're not handmade. That looks like it was made in a factory. Well, that, that can put every single shop on Etsy at risk. So there's no way to do that. Yeah. Uh, chat GPT-4 seems to be a little less restrictive on the adult stuff. I was getting nothing before, but can get some stuff out of it now. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, I asked it to tell me what a butt would look like if you applied the golden ratio to the butt crack, and it refused to do so on the fact that it was scientific, scientifically unethical and unnecessary. But it didn't just say, I can't talk about that, like yeah. chat 3.5. So we'll see. Uh, should you add some of the tags to your title? I think we uh, covered we that. Yeah, we kind of covered that. Yeah, um, <clears throat> everything in your title, it, assuming that you are keyword optimizing your title with your very best keywords, all of those terms, stick those in your tags, but not everything in your tags needs to be in your title. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. I sell digital bingo games, 30 or 50 cards, got an individual request for 70, 100 versions. How should I price these? Doesn't feel right changing based on the time it takes me to create these charging. hourly rate charging. That's what I said. Again, totally up to you. E-Rank has a great profit calculator. Um, in the tools menu, check that out because it factors in things like labor. You should charge based on the time it takes you to create them. Um, I would use that tool to try to factor it in. 
uh, I was going to ask when's your next Twitch stream. To be honest, I don't know. And when I do it, it probably won't be gaming. I don't particularly like enjoy doing the gaming on Twitch streams, and I don't want to make it a weekly thing of getting drunk on a stream because, you know, bad habits and all that. So I'm not sure. Uh, how many listings should you try of one type of product before changing your niche? 50? That, question mark? That's... Uh, that qu there's no real way to answer that question. No, not really. Um, I wouldn't just bounce. It's it doesn't. There's not enough information for me to answer that. Um, there you have to ask yourself why those initial listings aren't selling. Rather, you don't want to just niche surf. You don't just want to surf all the different niches. Um, you need to decide for yourself if it's something that you're doing and not just the niche. Um, and if there's a demand for the first niche that you're working in. I uh, haven't done Etsy yet. Possibly going to open two accounts. How does it work for multiple accounts? Different Etsy account and bank account for each, or can multiple shops go to one account? So you have to have separate accounts for each, but you can use the same bank account. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't try to open them both up at the same time. Um, start with one. Really, I, I'm. I know that that sounds crazy, but there are a lot of restrictions that come with opening your first shop. It's very, very likely that your first shop is immediately going to get shut down. Um, that's just normal. You have to request that Etsy reopen it. And if Etsy sees you opening multiple shops in a very short period of time, they might flag your account and ban you and not even allow you to uh, argue it. Unfortunately, just because they're really trying to crack down on people who are opening 600 shops to sell POD products and you know, not attending to them. Would your course be beneficial for someone whose store is already doing well with sales? It depends. Does, do you want it to do more or do you want it to do better? That's, um, a, that's a hard to answer question. What uh, I think what we could say is that we've had multiple already six-figure sellers multiply their income. And if you're at a point where you're comfortable with the income coming from your shop, we offer a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee. We, we don't ask you any questions. You don't have to submit any homework. You don't have to prove that you tried. You can just say, hey, I don't like you. Uh, give me my money back and, or just say nothing at all. Just say refund in your email and I'll give it to you. No yep. question. No questions asked. We're not here to exploit people. Um, and if you guys have any <clears throat> questions about Handmade Alpha Academy, which is my Etsy coaching program that's opening on June 14th, feel free to shoot those down in the comments. Um, about to end. Uh, we are about to end. Um, we can answer a couple if we have to. Yeah. Uh, should you change your Etsy cover out through the seasons or leave it the same all year? Totally up to you. Totally up to you. Doesn't really affect your ranking at all, so it doesn't really matter. Are shop critiques included with HAA? Nope, because there are over a thousand of you. There is no possible way that I could do that. But what you do have access to is my email address. Mm -hmm. um, anything that I could critique you on is already covered in HAA. Yeah. So I do ask that rather than me walking into your bare bones, you know, you've, you've started construction on your house, there's a floor and a foundation and, you know, you've got some beams up but no walls and you say, how's my house look? I can't critique you. Get through the course, and if you have questions once you get to the end and you feel like you're stuck, that's when you email me and say, hey, um, I'm doing really bad. I, I need I need help. Um, but what I actually prefer you guys do is we have the Handmade Alpha Academy student campus of our over a 1,000 students. Many of them are already six-figure sellers. They often will give you much better feedback than me because there is a very good chance that a lot of them are your target audience. So I would much prefer to see you guys posting in there. I can also give feedback there when requested, um, but then you get my feedback and feedback from a lot of experienced sellers. Uh, is it bad to have digital downloads and physical products in your store? We kind of touched on this. No, it's not bad. Just make sure that you're extremely specific. You have your refund policies in place. You're probably going to have to give more than a couple of refunds for people who thought they were buying a physical product when they were buying a digital. Yeah, I, mean, I would put like a big banner on your thumbnail that yeah, says digital. Digital, download. yeah, or like a corner, little banner. Uh, looking for questions. Holy moly, lots of conversations. Uh, does having views... Love your listings, improve your listing score? So... Do views affect your listing score? I think um, that's what they're asking. No. Views don't affect your listing quality score. No. Uh, can you add an email sign up or birthday club link to your Etsy shop listings without getting in trouble? Yes. Um, yes. If you have an email list, Etsy actually tells us that you can put those in there as long as it's not like located, you know, on a page where they can also buy products. 
Is it about the volume and demand of your product? I've seen stores with 10,000 units sold with no banner or profile picture. Um, there are so many factors that play into Etsy's algorithm and how they're being you know, ranked in search. Um, a lot of them have big social media followings. A lot of them have just been selling for a really long time. And because of that, their listing quality scores are really high. There are also sellers, you know, who are they're at the top of their niche and their SEO isn't the best. And it's just because their listing quality sc scores are so high. Um, I recommend it sounds like, you know, it sounds like this is more of an Etsy algorithm question. Go down below, sign up for my free Etsy SEO toolbox. Mm -hmm. That contains a wor free workshop in there. It's got a ton of stuff, but there is a free workshop in there that covers exactly how Etsy's algorithm works as much as they are willing to share with the public. And I cover all of that and it is free. So consider watching that because that should help you a right, lot. We are at the 130 mark. So I'm going to look through specifically for HIA questions since you did tell them it was okay to... Ask yeah, them. I'm I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize that we were so You're close. totally fine. You'll learn your lesson. It's fine. Uh, how <laughs> By the way, we're joking. Please don't critique me. In the <laughs> we always have people. There are so many people that are like, what? Mark is abusive. He's so mean. He's abusive. He's such a jerk. <laughs> This is how we play, sweetie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how much is the course? It is $9.97 as a one-time payment or $1.99 a month over six months. And just to nail out the other couple of questions. Wait, it is, $9.97, $997. Yeah, $997 up front, one-time payment. Or, or $1.99 per month for six months. Uh, and to nail out most of the other general questions that we usually get, it's do it at your own pace. No six o'clock in the morning Zoom meetings. We don't do that. Uh, we wouldn't want to do that. And I know you don't want to do that. Um, it's like 19 hours of content altogether at this point in time. You, they, you get 12 months of E-Rank Pro, which is normally $120. Yes. I pay for that for you. <laughs> um, it is appropriate for print on demand. If, you're, if your question is, is it good for digital? Is it good for shirts? Is it good for mugs? Is it good the for- The answer is yes. Yes, it's it's not based on any niche. Except for specifically what? What is, what is the not okay? What is the not okay? Vintage. Vint vintage, it's not gonna be 100% for you, but that's only one small portion of one of the nine modules that will be not for you. So. Yeah, it's it's a little harder because you can't do product lines. Yeah, um, but, but it's still for you. Yeah, and you get uh, Christina Nicole's Product Photography Essentials Workshop. You get 400 and something free graphics to use for your marketing. You get my Ad Fuel Bonus, uh, which teaches you a little bit about um, creating marketing images. You get our annual Alpha Holiday Boot Camp, which is a week long boot camp to help you hype up your holiday marketing for Etsy's biggest, you know, shopping season, which is Black Friday. Um, yeah. Do you have a link for your course? You can go to joinhaa.com. It's also join h alpha alpha.com join haa.com um and you can learn a little bit more about it it is not open yet it does not open till june 14th but that is a link to our waiting list um it's got all the details about the program and if you sign up for that waiting list it doesn't obligate you to buy it but it does ensure that you get an email right when we open and you can also email me and ask questions about the program as mm. well are you sure about that yes I don't know why that's not working for you. I just tested it yesterday. It definitely works. Okay, so it's the HTTPS that was screwing it up. Okay. Got it. Let's make sure that works. I'm just getting the link in here for you guys to make sure that this, yeah, so it's not a it's not an HTTPS because it's not directly for our website. No, Got it's it. a redirect. All right, there you go. Remove this one. So link is in the chat if you need it. All right. Uh only answering HA questions. I think that's it. Blink twice if he bullies you. You mean it's not 997? Oh, no. Blink twice. Oh, no, I've been blinking this whole time. <laughs> I'm just imagining Mark as a tough sir. Oh, I can be a tough sir. <laughs> this is where everybody leaves the this chat. This is where everybody leaves the chat. <laughs> Careful, Mark. You might wake up with just half a mustache. <laughs> I'll shave her head when she sleeps. You would I, ain't afraid of, I ain't afraid of nothing. Is it worth it? Short answer, yes. I thought it was a serious question. I was like, <laughs> I think so. Sure. If you'd rather just give me a thousand dollars and not get anything, that's also acceptable. Yeah, you can. Donate I can it. share my PayPal or or whatever. You know, <laughs> just donate it directly to us. Donate it directly to the Mark Wants Food Donate Foundation. <laughs> okay.
guys. <laughs> That's the end of it. I think we're both exhausted. Yeah, we are. Um, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Make sure that you watch my video from last Tuesday. Thank you, Megan. Thank you for your donation. Um, watch my video from last Tuesday where I talk about the three golden rules of Etsy SEO that if you break, you can literally kill your Etsy shop. And Etsy doesn't even tell us about them. Mm -hmm. So that is a fantastic video. We've already had tons of people comment on it and say like, oops, I broke rule number three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I completely okay. lost all my views because I broke rule number two. So go check that out. It, I think that it's one of the most important videos that I've published. Um, this upcoming Tuesday's video is going to be talking more about the E-Rank <laughs> AI tool basically repeating how you can sign up for the beta testing and yeah hang out with me and pam duffy every thursday on the e-rank youtube channel for our weekly q a mm -hmm. hang out here every friday for the friday bean get all the freebies down below there are so many of them i can't even name them all because i just keep making them make uh, sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not already already subscribed it's literally free uh click the little bell icon if you use the youtube app on your phone and you want to get notified when we do a live stream or when a video gets uploaded we upload every tuesday we live stream every friday and she live streams over on the e-rank channel every thursday yeah i just said all that well i'm saying it again because you didn't say it right <laughs> he winked and i just remember the older lady who was like i liked I did. it i did wink i did i liked it i said i am a sir <laughs> all, all right. right we love you guys and we will see you guys next week bye Bye. <laughs> Keep waving every week. She forgets every week. I know. Eventually, my th my my thing's saying, "Great, you're keeping active." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so active. Look how active you are. I'm